This is the best endgame build that is a lot of fun to use. It melts level 11 rogue ships so quickly, before the enemy ships even get a chance to return fire on you. And it's all based around using the sandbook ship and triggering its really powerful scorched perk that sets all enemies on fire that are nearby. The build is not only great for destroying ships, but also really good for plunder events, as it destroys structures and groups of reinforcing ships with ease. Let's jump straight into the build and how it all works, and then I'll show you the best way to use it. So the build is all based around the Sandbook Scorched perk ability, and trying to trigger it as quickly as possible. To trigger the perk we need to put the ablaze effect on the enemy ship, then that ship will receive an extra 5000 damage, which is that big fiery explosion that you can see. The ablaze effect will also be applied to all enemy ships within 150 meters to the original burning ship. And to top it all off, all enemies with the ablaze effect will receive an extra 50% damage. The ship weapons that I use to quickly build that ablaze effect is level 3 fire bombards on all sides front and back, with a level 3 Leopold in the auxiliary position. I did a lot of testing with different endgame weapons, and the fire bombards work the best. The aiming can be a little bit tricky to get used to, but once you have practiced with them, you can hit enemy ships from a long way away. I put the fire bombards all four sides of the ship so you can fire constantly to build the ablaze effect quicker. When firing, switch from the broad side to the front or the rear weapons whilst the other reloads. This will allow constant bombardment for devastating effect. The furniture pieces is where you can really increase your ablaze and overall damage. Firstly, I've set the ship up as a long distance ablaze ship. That way we survive much longer and have massive DPS. The major furniture piece I chose is the scoping station, because hitting a target more than 320 meters away makes them marked, meaning their weak spots take 100% more damage. And this works great because the Leopold 3's range is about 600 meters, so I always open with a long range Leopold shot to trigger the 100% extra weak spot damage, as well as the Leopold's higher base damage. Holy shit. Next is the gunpowder bench and that increases all damage to enemy ships with the ablaze effect. And every enemy we fight will be suffering from the ablaze effect. So it's a great damage multiplier on an already high DPS build. In the third furniture slot is the bombard works. And this increases the elemental damage multiplier of our bombards by 19%. So our bombards get even more flame damage and that's why the ablaze effect starts to build so quickly. For the fourth slot, I use volatile fuel and this increases the charge rate of the ablaze effect on enemy ships by another 10%. So you can see why this build just starts getting even crazier. For our final slot, I use the sticky fuel station, and this increases the duration of the ablaze effect on enemy ships by 10%, which obviously works great for our build. You can see how all of these furniture pieces stack well together to give us some crazy high amounts of damage. It is a great build for taking out swarms of enemy ships as the ablaze effect can spread from ship to ship. And for the armor, I use the Black Prince because it's the best one I have available. But you may prefer to use the Royal Custodian if the RNG gods like you. Sadly, I haven't been so lucky. All right, so the build is complete. So I'll show you the best way to use it now. For maximum damage, always start with a long range Leopold 3 shot. And this will start our bonus weak spot status. Then get as many fire bombard shots on target as possible. You'll start to get the idea of where to aim for distances and how to increase your accuracy. But basically your flame bombards are your best friend. If you hit the target and the best spot is the hull, as the sails aren't the greatest to hit, you'll quickly set them alight. It is a lot of fun and very satisfying to pull off in combat. There's nothing better than watching the fireballs consume your enemy ships. The build even works great for PvP events. You will melt other pirates health very quickly. The only issues I've ever had was the other players in Brigantines just purely outrunning me. Once they are out of range I could never catch back up. But anyone that stayed their ground to fight would soon meet a flaming grave. It even melts through the snow ship's big brace health. But what is your current favourite build for the game? Because I'm always interested to hear other ideas. And let me know if you have as much fun with this build as I do. There is a great setting that you should all enable. It allows us to clearly see what status effects are on enemy ships, or how close the status effect is to taking effect. It shows a blaze, flooded, torn sails, and more. To enable it, just go into the settings and enable status effects in the interface menu. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you found it helpful. Please hit the thumbs up if you did. I'll see you in season one shortly. I'll leave some raw sandbook footage. Bye.